Now we review the 2024 film Immaculate! Which is just not how birth tends to be. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, I am Richard. This is Random Street Theater. I have seen Immaculate, which is a story of a nun who um, did not cry a river and drown the whole world, but, uh, you know, it. she's a hot nun, which is weird, really. And she has been a, a nun for starting out nunnery, and uh, she's been a, a church sort of a person her whole life, thought God put her on this world for a reason, and, uh, you know, she goes to a nunnery where they're taking care of old nuns who are, you know, dying. And then uh, she finds out she is with child. Yes. Uh, it takes a while to get to that point in the movie, but... Or maybe it just felt that way. Anyway, for every thousand subscribers I get, I do purchase one of these bracelets from the company 4Ocean. 4Ocean pulls a pound of trash out of the ocean every time I do that. I have an itchy scalp. And, um, yeah, so, Immaculate is a movie. People say it's, it's somewhat similar to um, The First Omen, which it is. Uh, yeah, got some themes going on there. Don't really want to, don't really want to... Um, ruin things for you because there's there's kind of a kind of a reveal sort of a situation here but let, let's put it to you this way this film has a certain level of, of body horror to it it is a disturbing film that utilizes imagery and um, grossness and genetics and stuff, you know. And, look, Immaculate is a religious horror movie probably meant to, to run off the craze of The Conjuring, you know, the nun films. And, you know, it was inspired by that sort of uh, offshoot there. So if you have a, a certain desire for, you know, the exploitation film as it is, you know, and you want to see disturbing imagery and those sorts of things. Yes, okay. The Nun is, or the, the Nun, <laughs> Immaculate is one of those films. I will make the statement that the chick playing the Nun, you look at her and say, oh, how I wish she were not a Nun, because damn. And, you know, there are scenes where, where she... Take some, I wouldn't say there's a lot of like nudity going on in this, but you know, there is certainly some, some skin shown. And yeah, look, this is very much a, a bland film in that regard. It's not awesome, it's not terrible. If you watch this and you watch the first Omen, you will have trouble understanding which one is which because they're just so similar, even though the, the chick from the first Omen is far skinnier. And, I mean, yeah, you know, there's, um, there's this whole concept in this particular film of the church is trying to get some, some business going on, and they are true believers, right? That is the interesting part of this film, is that these people are true believers. They believe that what they're doing is uh, inspired by God. And there's even a line where the guy says, if God doesn't uh, believe that what we're doing is right, why doesn't he stop us? And that's a really good question that should often be asked about the uh, Catholic Church. You know, why is there not that divine intervention there? And there are religious reasons for that, but that's the scariest part of this film, that there are true believers, and that those true believers may go to great lengths to do really weird things. So, yeah. I mean, you know. Eh. 
middle of your watch list, maybe even upper middle if you're into horror movies. It is a serviceable film. I think it accomplishes it. It accomplishes what it's meant to accomplish. It simply does not have anything new to add. There's there's no this is the twist or gimmick of this film. It is a film. It is a solid film. It does what it's meant to do and no more. If this film had been made 30 years ago, it would be a top-notch phenomenal film. It would really have been scary, but I mean, my sister exists in this world and uh, people have come to realize her evil potential. So this film is not so scary anymore. So middle of your watch list, upper middle if you, if you like horror films, if you don't like horror films, if you're into horror films, it's a serviceable film, but it's not going to scratch your itch. Anyway, that's just my opinion. Love to hear yours. Comments below. I'm Richard. Greetings, humans! Your old pal Randall here again, reminding you to comment, like, and subscribe. You see, I got my bracelets from Ferocian, and I got another, another medal from the Conqueror. Yeah, yeah, look at that, see? See? That, that's got an Easter Island head on it. Because, if you can't afford to go to Easter Island, you can go and walk Easter Island virtually by going to the Conqueror. You could not screw up the environment by traveling to Easter Island. You could just get this, plant five trees, and then walk on your own and learn about Easter Island because I send you postcards. And if, if you comment, like, and subscribe, you can help the guy that owns this channel buy things like this so he can plant trees and buy bracelets like this from For Ocean so he can pull trash out of the ocean and make a better world for you. And it isn't going to cost you anything. So, so don't you have something to say? I mean, shouldn't you in the comments down below say how grateful you are that this man has planted so many trees and pulled so much trash out of the ocean and done all those good things for you? No? Ungrateful human? I should eat your face!